Hello everyone and welcome back to Clover Farm here in Story of Seasons Trio of Towns and we are out bright and early in the morning the sun isn't even really up yet watering our flowers and I'm so excited you guys our fields are growing look at the little sprouts oh they are gonna turn into beautiful flowers I cannot wait for that because then hopefully we can give more flowers to all of the people in the village and we can start becoming good friends with them or I really should say in the town because it's less town Trio of Towns I'll get there eventually hang in there guys and our little radishes are going so well oh this is wonderful I really need to remember that you can water your crops twice a day too that's something I think will help them grow a little faster a lot of you guys are saying that helps the crops grow a little bit quicker so we'll try to keep on top of that too but what are we gonna do today I have no idea we're gonna walk into town we're gonna see what kind of adorable part-time jobs there are we're gonna see what kind of adorable people are running around with all of their really cute dialogue talking about what they're doing in West Town I love all of those MPs I just cannot believe that on top of the awesome main characters we have, we also get adorable little NPCs with random names and appearances who just talk about all sorts of cute things that they do in the town. It's such a perfect game. It's so perfect. Not to mention all of the little the little butterflies and all of the, um, okay, let's see, I gotta put this away. All the butterflies and beautiful, beautiful crickets. There's a bush brown butterfly <gasps> and the mint. Yes, okay, so we've got some fresh mint growing on my farm too. And I wonder what else we should work on today. I still have a little bit of energy, so maybe we'll dig up some more fields. We can spend some of the money we get from part-time jobs getting more beautiful flowers. Oh, I just found another moon drop. Oh, that's so exciting. Getting more beautiful flowers to be able to grow on our farm. I think really putting all of the fields we currently have to use with tons and tons of plants would be a really smart move. So we still have one, two, three, Four, four fields down here, and I think we have four fields up top that we could put some crops into. Let's see. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yep. All right, so we do have some more fields we could put more seeds in, and I think that's a good thing for us to focus on. Right now, we're just working on West Town and trying to improve our relationship with West Town, too. Oh, look at that! Our town rank is E Town Rank. So the more we give people presents in town and the more that we do part-time jobs for them and participate in festivals and all of those fun things, then the closer we will be able to get to ranking up to rank D. So that'll be really good for us. And let's go inside because now that I thought of festivals, oh, it's so dark in here. We'll turn on our little lamp. But speaking of festivals, let's check our calendar and see if there's any special events coming up. We did miss Hector's birthday yesterday. I totally forgot about that. I should have at least given him a flower. Not sure if Hector, who's not very good at talking, would enjoy a flower, but it would have been nice to be able to give him something. However, Noelle's birthday is coming up. So we'll remember to save a little flower or something for Noelle, who is the little girl in town. She's really quite sweet. And we'll try to make sure to give her something on the 9th. And then who's, uh, let's see, oh, Wayne's birthday is this month too. That's so exciting. So Wayne's birthday is this month and then my birthday. Oh, and then people can celebrate my birthday with me. That would be so fun. All right, then we've got Wayne and Marco's birthday coming up. Oh, and it looks like I can Wow, look at that! You can look at the schedule for like events and birthdays for weekly stuff. I guess with three towns, there's probably a lot of birthdays and a lot of events that get going once everything starts moving. All right, so we've gathered up the stuff on my farm. <gasps> Butterflies, look at all of them. Another bush brown. Oh, and another citrus swallowtail. They're so pretty. Thank you, little bugs, because those guys are gonna come over and help pollinate my crops. Well, that's what they do in real life. Probably not gonna do that here, but I just like the idea. All right, but now that we're done, look, there's one of the NPCs just walking around over here. I trained my dog to let my livestock out to graze. It's so helpful. I could train my dogs to do that? That would be so cool. All right, we don't have any dogs or cats or anything just yet, but I think we'll be able to get there with time. Let's go ahead and pet the kitty. Look at her. She's just coming over to see the beautiful crossroads. Large tree nymph, large or a long tail blue. And then we can go ahead and we can pet the little puppy. And we can go ahead and hold the, the fox. It's not very amused about that, but we can hold it. Apparently they really like walnuts. I know that the little mongoose guys, oh look, there's one of the crickets, the bell ring cricket. I know the little, these guys really love um, an ascara beetle. Uh, these guys really love the walnuts. So maybe I'll go ahead and give them a walnut just real fast because they're so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna hold a walnut and I'm gonna put it down. Whoa, did I just like chuck it so far? <gasps> look at him go! Is he gonna eat it? He ate it, that's so cute! 
Oh my gosh, I love that. So apparently befriending the wild animals works by befriending the animal family. So there's the fox family over there. There are the weasel or mongoose family. I think they're weasels, but they just look like little mongoose to me or prairie dogs. So we would befriend them as a whole. And then once you start getting to a certain level of friendship with the wild animals, they'll stop running away from you. And once you get to a high enough level, then there's a special one-time event where they will show up in front of your farm and leave you a special present. And that just sounds adorable. Oh, and there's a little hoverfly. Oh, I could just spend all day chasing the insects. <gasps> oh, there we go. All right, let's give a little pet to the puppy. I really like this dog. I really want to bring this dog home with me. I wonder how I can do that. I need to find like treats I can give him. What kind of treats would you eat, puppy? We'll have to find out. And then we've got the Western Pygmy Blue Butterfly. That's so fun. We've got another little kitty cat over here that we can give a little pet. I want to take you home too. We've got the Tarantula Hawk and a whole bunch of other butterflies I can't even pronounce. The wild plums are working on growing. So it's just the peaceful, oh, Noelle. Hmm, what do I want to play today? Oh, do you want to come play too, Siri? Oh, she's so cute. I better hold on to my flowers that I currently have though. I'm not sure how often the flowers will show up for me to harvest. All right, lots and lots of butterflies just all over the place, a small copper. Might as well just look at them while we're running around. Maybe we can go talk to Marco and figure out. There's so many. I just love this. A morning glow. Whoa, the bear is still mad at me. So if we befriend the bear family, he may stop chasing us like that too, which would be kind of nice because it's a little alarming to just get chased by a bear first thing every morning. Uh, oh, wow. And look at my uncle. Can I, can I like jump up here? I, eh, there we go. Oh, he like has a little, a little ramp maybe to discourage the weasels from coming and breaking into his farm. Are these the radishes? They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Uncle Frank, I really love it. Where are you, Uncle Frank? I think he's inside his barn. There he is, doing his morning chores. Do you go for walk, Siri? I'll take a stroll here and there myself when I find the time. Each town has its own unique look and feel. It can be fun just to walk through them. Thank you, Uncle Frank. Uh, and I'm good for now. I don't really need anything re-explained. And he's just like, good luck with your work. So I guess he wants to see us being a little, whoa, okay, I'm blocked in by all my uncle's cows and sheep. That's adorable. I guess he wants to see us being a little bit more industrious. I wonder if we can come by and like have a meal with him. In fact, was he headed in for, you know what? Let's go see if our uncle was headed in for lunch because it's noon. And I want to see if we can have a little lunch with my uncle. Like if he'd let me do that. Let's see. Oh, he has a puppy. <gasps> he has a dog named Lucky. Uncle, can I please eat with you? Sorry, I'm in the middle of eating. If you need anything, could you come back later? Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so I think normally if you come in and you see different people eating at their tables, like the different families sitting down to dinner or lunch and things like that, eventually you're supposed to be able to befriend them enough that they'll invite you to sit down with them and have a meal. And I think that's absolutely adorable. All right, so let's go check what kind of part-time jobs we have going. Right now, we should just be focused on trying to get our fields up and going, on trying to take good care of ourselves and prove to our pa and prove to ma nature and our uncle that we can do this. So I need every little coin I can get. All right, Horatio, let's see what jobs are available today. Waterer, weeder, shipper, shipper, any kind of egg, any kind of vegetable, any kind of milk, can't do those ones. I And Ford. So Ford needs us to do the watering and the weeding. Totally on top of that. That's so interesting. I've also heard that Ford can offer a lot of money for being like a test subject at his clinic. That sounds really fun. Ah, thank you for coming, Siri. Are you ready to start watering the field? I have to find out Ford's voice. It's gonna take a little while. Oh no, how will I ever survive watering this gigantic field? What will I ever do? Hmm. I bet he would, he would like, study us and make sure we didn't get any dirt on our boots after watering his fields. Maybe that's why he's having us do the work for him. <laughs> Cause he doesn't want to have to actually go into the dirt. That makes so much sense. I like him. All right, we'll figure out how to how to get to know dangerous, dangerous shoulder man. Hmm, when you're making a series, I think there's a point when the banter between the main characters gets old. Maybe I should have them switch viewpoints next time. Even if it's similar, it should still feel fresh. I love that there's like little authors who are trying to become better at writing. There's singers. There's people who are really good at cooking. All right, let's come down here. That's so cute. You can just say a quick hello to everybody. I love it. And let's help out for it again. So we're gonna take care of weeding everything. 
And then that may be all we can kind of focus on doing today other than getting our fields up and going. All right, let's see. Yeah, I bet Ford's having us do this so he doesn't have to deal with the actual dirt. All right, I've got this. Uh, you shouldn't... Oh, wow! So when it comes to weeding, you like run around and you just pick all the weeds in the yard. That's so cute. All right, got it, got it, got it. Almost done. I'm on this and gotcha. And I think if you do it fast enough, you get a little bit of extra money. Oh, you're done already? Please accept this as compensation. All right, and I still have to figure out your voice, Ford. Feel free to keep anything you've collected, since I won't be needing it. I'll see you next time. Oh, I can sell the weeds. Well, yay, I guess every penny counts at this point. In fact, let's go in and say hello to him because I do have a mint that he may enjoy. Uh, is he in here? Oh, Wayne's here. Are they upstairs? <gasps> because it's lunchtime, maybe? No, it's way past lunchtime. What's going on? Are they just hanging out? Oh, they're yakking. Look at that. This is so cool. Suddenly deciding to become a farmer with no prior experience is the very definition of youthful recklessness. I'm shocked your family approved. Ah, well. Whether or not you succeed rests squarely on your own efforts. Be diligent. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, guess what my own efforts managed to get me? A whole mint plant, sir. I think you're going to be quite happy about that. Hmm, this is for me, is it? An excellent choice. All right, so now he's got to decide if he's going to use it as an experimental sample or not. And then, of course, we're talking to Wayne. Hey, Siri. I had an early morning, so I was feeling a bit drowsy. But seeing that cute smile of yours sure is energizing. Wayne, he's just adorable. And so many, Wayne has his own fan club among you guys. So let's go ahead and give him a flower. Hopefully, I'll have more flowers to be able to share with everybody soon. And then that'll hopefully make him happy enough. Because, yeah, he's got his own fan club. You guys are really enchanted with Wayne. It's really fun to see. All right. And I love this. I want to mess around with the little vials. It'd be so fun if I can come and help him in his clinic one day. I do love the sciences, after all. And then we'll let that guy run by. Let's see. Somebody else. I just love all of the NPCs all over the place. It's so fun. All right. So let's see what we can do in terms of getting some crop seeds so that we can really make the most of our little farm and prove to everybody we have what it takes to be a good farmer. All right, we've already got some potatoes down and we've already got some of the radishes down. So the radishes are worth 80 a piece. The potatoes are worth 110 a piece. And I think they take a little bit longer to grow. Hmm, I think... Uh, is the better one going to be the radishes or the potatoes? I think right now we'll go ahead. Um, uh, they only take a few days to grow. I think I do need some more potatoes. Let's see how many I can do. I'm going to try to do two more potatoes and then two more radishes. And do I have enough? <gasps> I do! All right, you guys. I had just enough. That'll be all, Miranda. Thank you. She's so sweet. I like her a lot. What's the matter, Siri? Your eyes are swimming around like a fish. Is there something you're looking for? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and I love her little dried flowers. All of the details. <laughs> oh, I could just melt from all these details. It's amazing. And let's go talk to Lizette. I don't think I have enough money to afford getting more of her. Hi, Lizette. Welcome to Thousand Bouquets. What can I do for you today? And let's see, can I afford? Nope, can't afford the seeds that she's currently selling, but that's all right. All right. And then let's come and talk to her. If you ever have any questions about flowers, please come see me. I'll help you however I can. Oh, that's so sweet. I really like her too. Um, I wasn't sure if I would because she's a little bit more subdued, but I really think she's quite sweet. So let's go ahead and give her a flower. Oh, thank you so much for the wonderful present. That's so sweet of you. I got to get more flowers because I love giving everybody flowers. It's just so nice. All right, good. And then we'll say a quick hello to her. Wonderful. Building my relationship with West Town in record time, all because of some flowers. And then there's John. I wonder if John's really going for the flowers or he's going for Lizette. And then we've got Carrie. Howdy. How's your day been? Your farm chore is going okay? Hold still a moment. You got a cowlick going on there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. That's just the heart of a good southern like mama bella Like when I lived in the south That was such a thing that would happen when you were like a young kid You'd just be running around and any of the moms would feel free to grab you and like smooth down your hair or, or like straighten out your clothes Oh, man, that was ages ago though. There that should do it. Now you look even cuter than before. Oh my gosh, that's adorable All right, we'll come say hello to her husband 
Things I like? Well, cooked dishes for one, but my favorite has to be grape wine. A glass after a day's hard work is the best. I feel like he wouldn't have a lot of an accent from here because his grandpa is the one who ran the shop. But it's really easy, at least for me, to pick up a, a bit of an accent again. <laughs> All right, so I think that's everything we can do over here today. I want to check out what's in the stores again just to remind myself really quickly. So what does the grocery store sell again? The cinnamon and the walnut, that's right. All right, I'm good, thank you. Thank you, Natasha, thank you. Little Noel is still running around. And then we've got Gulliver's. And then he is selling the grass seeds, that's right. I was trying to figure out if I was gonna grow some grass seeds. I might want to get started on that. And I love how there's lavender and chamomile and mint. There's so many different beautiful herbs. Oh, that's so fun. And I do wanna start saving some money once we really get up and going so we can have a chicken. I would be so happy to have a chicken. And some of you guys are telling me that you have to feed the chicken with chicken feed every single day. And some of you are telling me that the chicken um, can go out to graze. So I'll have to figure out what I can do for my chickens. But first off, I need to be able to prove that I, I deserve chickens. Holy days, Marilyn's little outfit is so cute. I could just, I love this. I mean, usually you get so caught up in just doing the daily tasks and the daily chores. When you're playing games like this, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna be the best farmer ever. Gotta use all my energy. But there's something so enchanting just about West Town that I could just wander around and just listen to the little random NPCs all day long. Like it, suddenly it's the end of the day instead of coming back to my farm and just like working away like I'm used to thinking. I really love this so much. All right, oh, hang in there little farmer, Siri. Don't pass out, you've got so much to, you've got so much to go for. All right, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, enough food to hold her through, you guys. I think she needs a little bit more. All right, and let's see. We want to get those radish seeds down. I guess I should have gotten the potato seeds down first, but hmm. All right, we'll put the radish seeds down because this is the radish side of the field. Thank you very much. And then let's go ahead and water them so we can at least get them watered once today. There you go, little seeds. I know, poor little girl, she's getting so tired and I'm almost out of potato bread. So we'll have to be really careful. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can get these potatoes down. Oh, I don't know about this. Getting pretty darn close. <laughs> All right, we're really gonna be pushing it, I think. Let's go ahead and eat the potato bread. Can I eat it? I want to eat the potato bread. Like, not throw it. No, don't throw the potato bread. <laughs> I guess you have to go into your inventory to be able to eat it. All right, potato bread. Let's go ahead and eat it. There we go. Oh, and I forgot we had some aloe as well. Oh, I really should have shipped things today, but it just totally, I totally blanked on that. All right, hang in there, little Siri. You've got this. Good job. All right, let's see if we can get the potato seeds down. We're almost there, you guys. We've almost got it all watered. Oh no, and my crops are starting to dry out over there again. It's a cruel, vicious cycle of, of ma nature and the sun trying to make me really healthy plants, but I don't have enough energy to give everybody a second water today. Oh man, maybe I bit off a little bit more than I could chew there. <gasps> what? What? Why is it the doctor? Ford, why are you the one? Like, does it just change up who comes to pick up my stuff every time, every day? That's so interesting. I am not only a doctor, but a scientist as well. I pursue research in the interest of advancing medical science. Oh, that's so cool. And I'm so exhausted. All right, you guys, I think today was a little bit of a shorter day, mostly because my stamina is so low this early on, but we did expand our fields a little bit and we did manage to work quite a bit on just giving people gifts and I need to remember to ship items more often. Uh, I won't put anything in the shipping bin just yet, but I'm pretty proud about the, the expansions we're doing. We'll have to see. I think we're getting closer and closer to the days when we'll start being able to explore the other towns and we'll start getting special items so that we can harvest more things, maybe go mining with the hammer, and uh, maybe I'll uh, look into getting a chicken. I really want to make sure we can get a chicken. ASAP. Oh, and then you can have multiple barns. I don't know if I told you guys that. I found out you can change the style of your barns and coops, and you can even have more than one. That's why you can give them special names. But one day, you guys, one day, we will have some adorable chickens and silky chickens and quail running around in here. And apparently in this game, when you want to have baby chicks, you pick up a mama chicken and you put her in this nesting box, or you put her in a nesting box. I think that's the dispenser. And I think that's just, that's just so darn adorable. But all right, guys, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.